So guys, you have absolutely been loving the Everything You Need to Know About series. I found it's just a really good way to focus in on one part of the game and just talk about that in a lot of detail. If that's something you're interested in, like if you missed the one where we did about customization, you can go check that out. I'll include the link for that in the description down below. Or if you want to learn everything about the car list, we did one for that as well. I find it's just a really good way. If you're only interested in one part of the game, you just watch that video, you get all the information on that. And that's it, it's really good for all those new guys. Anyways, today we are continuing our series with everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 3 Online. Forza Horizon 3 is obviously having online, and it is going to be very similar to Forza Horizon 2, actually. We are going to have two basic game modes, one could say. Online free roam, and a co-op campaign. Both of these game modes, and actually everything online, you can actually play if you are on the Xbox One, and on the PC, and you can also play together. So say I only have an Xbox and you only have a PC, we can totally play together even though we're on different consoles. It's, it, it just works and it's really cool. So to all of those viewers out there who I've never been able to play with, I am excited. Get ready, we're going to be having a lot of fun in this game. But yeah, let's jump in and talk about online free roam for a bit. Obviously you guys probably heard about this, it's very similar to the way Forza Horizon 2 works. But you can basically go around the map and do whatever you feel like. You can go online and do some online bucket list with your friend. Just drive up to the event, invite your friends to it, and you can do it with your friends. There are also in-map sort of events, like the speed lists from Forza Horizon 2, where you, or the speed traps from Forza Horizon 2, where you basically had to get through the speed trap as quickly as possible and you'd be ranked on a leaderboard. Those are coming back, but they're also coming back with things like big jumps, and drift events. Basically, the person who jumps the furthest or can drift around the corner and get the most points possible will be the highest on the leaderboard. Very cool thing. Obviously, there's gonna be races online. You can just roll up to an event and press like honk or whatever and you'll start a race. There's also gonna be mini games coming back like King and Infected. They're, those are both coming back. And in brand new game mode called Capture the Flag. It's actually not called Capture the Flag. It's actually called Flag Rush, but it's Capture the Flag. The second game mode, Co-op Campaign, is a four-player co-op campaign where you basically go in and you do what was an online road trip. Online road trips are not going to be in this game anymore, but the co-op campaign is sort of taking that place, I believe. Anyways, the way this works is one friend chooses the race route, the cars and the music, and you go and have some fun. It's pretty cool. Other than your online racing stuff, there is some other really, really cool stuff coming. For instance, drone mode, which I haven't actually spoken about on the channels just yet. Online drone mode is probably the coolest thing I have ever seen in any video game. One player, or whoever you want to be, say you're in a lobby of 12 people. One person can, be, can decide to be like, nah, driving? Not for me. I'm gonna be a drone. And you basically fly around the map as a drone, and you can use your camera to take pictures and film people as they drive, or in my case, crash. Basically, it's the best online camera mode in any game ever. That You just win, Forza. That's really good. Before I get any further, I want to call out Domestic Mango, GTA Wise Guy, Tom Matthews, Joe Leach. I expect some pretty high quality stuff from you guys. I want some amazing films. And there are some other basic things coming to Forza Horizon 3 that you've probably already heard of, so I won't touch on them in too much detail. Car clubs are coming back, 1,000 people each. We will be making a bunch of those, so as many of you guys as possible can join. Car meets are also coming back in some way, shape, or form. We don't really know how yet, but they are. Auction house, I've spoken about this a lot, it's the same as Forza 4. You can buy and sell cars to your friends, you can hope the community buys them at whatever price you put them at, which is pretty cool as well. The storefront is also coming back. If I make a really cool paint and you want it, I can sell it to you for a price or give it away for free, and you can download it and have some fun. The same thing works with tunes. And then sort of final thing with the storefront is custom races, blueprints. You can basically choose the route for your race, and you can share those on your storefront as well and have some fun with the custom races you make. It also works with bucket lists, so say you want to do a bucket list race, you can make your own custom one, choose the car, choose the start point, choose the, choose the thing you do, you do it yourself, you set the difficulty, send it out to your friends, have them beat you. Anyways guys, that is everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 3 online. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, give it a like, subscribe down below for more Forza Horizon 3 content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.